Project Heritage presents PH on ECTV. Lisa. Today on Heritage Place, we will be taking a look at obedience. Now, do you remember that we have been learning about consistency? Do you remember the phrase consistent obedience? Remember, consistency means doing the same thing again and again. It means that we keep hearing from God and doing what he says. We want to see what you remember about consistent obedience. We also have a sing-along, story time, and of course, our weekly PH news, all coming up today on Heritage Place. Let's worship together.
Hello, kids. Our word of the day is obedience. Let's see what the Bible tells us about obedience. In Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. Deuteronomy 11 verse 1 tells us, Love the Lord your God and keep His requirements, His decrees, His laws, and His commands always. Romans 5 19 says, For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. And Genesis 6 22 tells us, Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Kids, obedience is a command given by the Lord. God required obedience from the children of Israel, from his own son Jesus, and he requires it from us. It was Jesus' obedience that gave us the gift of salvation and ultimately pleased God. We want to obey God's laws and instructions because we love him and want to please Him. And just like Noah, we want to obey consistently, over and over, for a long time. from everything we learned this week. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! What does consistency mean? A. Doing different things. B. Doing the same thing again and again. Or C. Doing something once. That's right! Consistency means doing the same thing again and again. Noah obeyed God consistently. That means he A. Started to build the ark and gave up halfway. B. Created his own design for the ark. Or C. Did everything just as God commanded him over a long period of time. It took Noah about 100 years to build the ark. That's a long time. He obeyed God consistently and did everything God told him to do. Which of the following should we do consistently? A. Read the Bible B. Pray and worship C. Practice good hygiene or D. All of the above Reading the Bible is how we grow in God. Praying and worshipping is how we keep our spirits healthy. Practicing good hygiene is how we keep our bodies clean. So these are all the things we should do consistently. A male horse is called a stallion. What is a female horse called? A. A mare B. A stallioness C. A pony Correct! 
A female horse is called a mare. Noah took males and females of every animal onto the ark. What do koalas eat? A. Corn B. Grass or C. Eucalyptus leaves Koalas are found in the Australian outback and they eat only eucalyptus leaves. Noah must have had lots of different food on the ark for all those animals. Great job! See you next time on Quizzy Time! The letter of the day is O. O is for obedience. And O is also for offering. O is for order. And O is also for oneness. Oh. Broadcasting from the Creative Core and coming to you live on ECT TV. This, this is, is PH, PH News. News. Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to PH News. In this week's headlines, Everyday Heroes Practicing Obedience, Discovering Our DNA in the Word of God, Exploring Our World, Learning from Noah, Superhero of Faith. Stay with us. The Elijah Center Project Heritage Living in Goshen 3-Book Collection is now available on Amazon.com and at the Elijah Center Nexus office. The three titles in the collection are Let My People Go, The Goshen Chronicles, and Pharaoh's Lament. The books are available in Amazon Kindle format and print versions on Amazon.com. Physical copies can be purchased directly from the Elijah Center office in Trinidad and Tobago. Visit projectheritage.org for more information. And now, the weekly PH News Report. Last week, PH kids were encouraged to practice obedience. According to eyewitness reports, everyday heroes across the GBKC were obeying their parents' instructions to turn off the TV and electronic devices, complete their homework, brush their teeth, and went to bed on time. Each kids followed instructions and did the right thing over and over and over and over, demonstrating consistent obedience. If you see an everyday hero in action, send your eyewitness report to news at projectheritage.org. You don't know who you are until you read the Word of God. This is why we continue to focus on building our habit of reading and studying the Word. In Hebrews chapter 11, we read about how Noah and other superheroes of faith had faith that pleased God. Just like them, we can all have faith. And just like them, we can all please God. Let's keep reading so we can learn more about who God says we are and discover our spiritual DNA. Each week in this segment, Exploring Our World, we take a trip around the GBKC to visit some of our PH friends and learn about where they live. So far, we have traveled to South Africa and learned about their currency, 11 official languages, the largest Indian population in the world outside of India, and the greatest shoal on earth. 
That's when thousands and thousands of sardines migrate along the coast. Where will we go next? Let us know what you would like to learn as we continue exploring our world. When we first met our friend Jason, he had obeyed his teacher's instructions when everyone else in the classroom was playing. His mom and dad told him about Noah, and he learned that being a singular standard meant not being afraid to be the only person doing the right thing. Last week in our story, he learned that to please God, we must do exactly as he says. This week, we will check back with Jason to see what else he is learning from Noah, superhero of faith. Stay tuned, story time is coming up next. Now that's all for PH News. You can send your news stories to news at projectheritage.org. Visit projectheritage.org for more resources. Visit our YouTube channel and remember to watch, like, and subscribe. And let's keep our houses filled with lights. See you next week. Jason and his family are in the backyard, tending to their garden. Jason is standing on a garden stool and balancing his plastic shovel in the air with one hand, while the other hand rests on his hip. His sister Jenny looks at him in confusion. Jason, what are you doing? I am Captain Shovelman. Uh, you look like Captain Jason holding a shovel to me. I am a superhero. Oh, no, you're not. I am, too. Not. Too. Just then, the children's mom intervenes. Okay, children, that's enough. Jenny, take these vegetables inside and wash them. Jason, come down from there and help your dad clean the tools before he puts them away. Jason loses his balance as he's about to come down and slips off the stool. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! He is not hurt. Some superhero you are, you can't even get down from a garden stool. How are you going to save the world? <laughs> you all stop that. Jason, get to the tools now, please. But mom, Jenny was just laughing at me and you did not tell her anything. Jason, wasn't it just yesterday that you told me you wanted to be a superhero? Yeah, dad, but Son. Superheroes don't care if anyone laughs at them. They always do the right thing. Remember Noah? Yes, Dad. Noah worked in that ark for 120 years. Many people teased and laughed at him. They thought Noah was crazy. But that didn't matter. He was consistent in doing what God wanted over a long period of time. Even when others made fun of him. Only yesterday you said that you were going to be a superhero like Noah. So don't let your sister's teasing distract you from what you have to do after just one day. A real superhero would ignore the teasing and keep on doing what is right, Jay. Thanks, Mom. I realize now that it was not easy for Noah. It certainly wasn't. But he was consistent and he did exactly what God wanted. Hmm, that's true. Dad... Can you play the Noah song on your phone while I finish up my chore? I think I need some inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Captain Shoverman. Inspiration coming right up. Now run along and save those tools from the dirt. That day, young Jason patiently cleaned all the garden tools, exactly as he was told, while he listened to the Noah song on his dad's phone. Hi kids, 
We learn how to live by reading the Word of God. Together, let's discover what's in our spiritual DNA. Last week, we continued looking at faith, which is an important part of our heritage and our journey with God. Faith is the reason we trust and believe in God, even though we can't see Him. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. This week, Let's read Hebrews 11 verses 6 to 8. Why was faith needed for Noah and Abraham to obey? Send us your feedback and share what you learn about faith. Remember, we don't know who we are until we read the word of God. This is who I am. That's the design of your spiritual being. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. The Lord is my compass. I know you lead and I will follow where you go. Do you struggle with habits and routines? Do you find yourself trying to follow the right patterns and do the right thing day after day? Try consistency. Consistency will help you do the same thing again and again and over 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 again. Consistency is God prescribed and Project Heritage approved. Side effects may include increased wisdom and understanding of the word, spontaneous engagement in prayer and worship, deep in fear of the Lord, and feelings of thankfulness, joyfulness, prayerfulness, and peacefulness. Consistency is safe for all ages and available wherever the word of God is read. Hi kids! 
We have learned all about consistent obedience from Noah, our superhero of faith. Because of his obedience, he was able to keep his family safe inside the ark. The ark was a sanctuary when the flood came. Next week on Heritage Place, we will be learning about sanctuary. Do you know what it means to be a sanctuary? Do you know what the word sanctuary means? Let's discover together how we can be a sanctuary for others. See you next week on Heritage Place.